but I'm gonna give it a try, the local spicy food. So, let's try it. I don't know what I ordered, but it was some beef, and he asked me rice or budon. I don't know what budon is. For some reason, my phone doesn't even work. So they got a little washing business. Hello. Put some garlic. Veggies. Soy sauce. But yeah, and they live here. They live here and work like I told you guys. Pretty convenient, but very hot because it's not a closed area. So all they use is fans, no AC. One of the local food you will notice, it's actually just regular noodles with a fried egg and beef. And you will find this, you will find this everywhere. They also always give this spicy sauce that you can see. But let's try all this. It's Noodles. Fried. With soy sauce in it. Mm. This is only 5,000, which is $1.25. The beef is very tender. Probably one of the best beef I've tried. Then, I love the fried. That has veggies to it. I give this like a 7.4 out of 10. Alright, so I decide to go and get a motorbike for rent to go get a ride on the bamboo bamboo train. Now, I don't think it's nothing special, but hey, you never know. So we gotta give it a try. So we got a motorbike. It's all covered in carbon fiber. Pretty cool. Sorry for the third time. And beyond it's in awful condition. So you can see. Okay. 340,000 kilometers on this thing. This thing can die on me any second, no insurance, so you have to pay like 1400. While driving, I dropped my phone without a case and I was able to pick it up, catch it. But then I put my case on, thought it's gonna help. No well, no way. This thing does not hold your phone. I dropped it, thankfully. No cracks or nothing. Whew, might not have to use this. I know you guys would call me stupid, but we're gonna try for the third time. Hopefully, it does not break my phone. I didn't realize why it's shaky so, so much. He put it on zip ties. Zip ties. But look how much it shakes. The roads here are not the best, but we gotta do what you gotta do. I might need a new phone soon. So we might have to skip this. I just got here and they want $10 per person because it's $10 per train. But then if you go with someone, it's $5 per person. I'm not trying to pay $10. Not just because of it's $10, but because... Uh, I look at the reviews, people say it just goes one way. You get a little breeze and they stop at a souvenir shop. They try to like ask you to buy something and then they just bring you back. Nothing special about it. And I don't really care about it. I get a cool little breeze on the scooter. I dropped my phone twice. Let's go to the cave. Well, um, you can see I'm already soaking wet. Got some water, 25 cents. Still like 13 minutes away. But yeah, there's a lot of these shops. We gotta stay hydrated. We gotta stay hydrated. And man, you know when you drive in Vietnam and stuff like that? You get a cold breeze in your face. It feels amazing when you're driving fast. Over here, you're driving fast. You get a hot breeze like you're in a sauna. It's crazy, but hey, we gotta we gotta visit that cave. I just seen someone scoop. But we're getting closer and closer to the cave, going through these dirt roads, driving with one hand. And you know what's beautiful about it is that from here, on top of the cave of the mountain. You can see, oh shoot, there's a whole ass cow. You can see a big, which I believe is a Buddhist temple. I believe I'm going the right way. Well, we're not just entering a, a bat cave. We're visiting a killing cave. Let's get deep in there. Entrance, you can see this big entrance 
an abandoned little cabin. Well, that was the entrance of the security point. After driving a little bit up the mountain, we had to pay a dollar fee at the security point. You see this. If you drive straight up, there's a cave. This is the killing cave. As you can see, we're right here. And like always, there's the Buddhist temple. We're on top of the mountain. Killing cave? Huh? Killing cave. Okay, okay. What's over there? Oh, uh, later. Thank you. So this way? This way? Okay, thank you. Well, for some reason, I want to go this way. Because there was like flags and stuff. It's so dead and empty here. A communist who used to be a prime minister started a civil war, took over the country, and killed religious people, people that were intelligent, and ex-governors, and people that worked for ex-governors. Or people that they thought were westernized or anything like that, they were killed. And this is one of the killing fields. Killing cave? Oh, okay. what's there? Okay, okay. I'll go this way. This looks amazing over there, too. As you can see, this is the way they would kill people by giving them something, I don't know what pulling out their teeth, this is how they would be chained, chopping their heads off, chicken fights, which like, probably like, they would cook them, what? They would cook their heads or something? Wow, this is scary. Hello? Huh? And then they had this thing, they would for some give me a second killing cave this way or this way this way okay thank you <laughs> safe let's go let's go let's go, let's go. Yeah. you go Okay, okay, thank you. Where are you from? Cambodia? Cambodia, Cambodia. Cambodia, okay, okay. <laughs> Some kids. Or not kids, I don't know. You never know. Alright, so there's two entrances. Or three. This place looks sketchy. Okay, this obviously. Where they probably prayed and things like that. I don't know which one I want to visit first. There's no signs or marks of anything. My friend, this way or this way? No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. He said don't go there. So, as you can see, most likely, they would get them on top of this hill and drop them from there. They would fall from there and die right here. That's what I'm, that's what I think. And that's probably what it is. Cause why would there be a hole? And over here, you can see a guy sleeping and a lot of schools from the killing cave. These are the real schools of people that died here. So let's go further down, left or right? Not very spacey. Then, okay, I might be wrong. Maybe the top, top part was not for dropping people. Because now, where we are, this is probably a killing cave as well. I don't really know what's down there, to be honest. And I don't know if you guys noticed it, but bro, there's. I've been in a lot of caves, and this cave, the way there's like dots inside of the walls, for some reason, it kind of makes you like imagine schools on the, on the walls of this. Usually like the caves are like a little bit flat walls and stuff like that. 
Like you, you see like dots and kind of sometimes you think, you think like there's schools in the walls. It just amazes me that such a cruel event happened only around 50 years ago. Yeah, and 50 years is not long. Our grandparents were alive when people were just getting dropped and killed by some crazy man. This is the other entrance. They probably threw people, pushed them from here, and there too. Huh. I don't know where it takes you, but somewhere deep. And I'm not really wanna go there. Also, you could see a big tree and the roots of the tree, literally. Look how long the roots are. They go all the way down here. These kids were sitting here and smoking. And at first I was like, oh, but now I kinda know. Why they're sitting at this spot. Look at this view. Holy. And a lot of views, you cannot pass them through a camera picture. Like you have to be here. Oh, so amazing. The hole I showed you guys on top, just that hole, has seen 9,000 deaths. 9,000 of innocent people. Just because of Khmer Rouge. While driving to the Bat Cave, there's literally a huge statue of buddha than other writings and things like that and designs like a lame buddha right there on the wall and this is actually crazy hard work and then you can see a person actually working there right now breaking the mountain to make these statues with sire here to get some beef lock lock if you're ever in cambodia definitely try beef lock lock delicious Mm. Also, some places they give you the sauce. It's like pepper, I believe salt, and so much lemon. Super strong, super delicious. Very strong lemon. Even in tourist area, this is only $3. The food was delicious. With a Fanta, it was $4. There's another way you can walk up to the mountain. Which, remember earlier, when I was driving to Killing Cave, I did not turn. This time we still have like an hour till the bats come out, so let's go check out what's on top of there. All right, so we made it to the top of the mountain. A lot of people say, "Oh, don't, don't drive a motorbike, bro." That's the whole point. It's fun. <laughs> so we can make it here. Look at the view. A lot of farming fields. Like always, Buddhist temple too. Remember guys, when I was driving up earlier in this video. We seen this on top of a temple. Well, it was the Buddhist temple. There's holy. Look at this big ass rock and what it stands on. Any second, it can fall. It is so steep in there. Well, let me get closer. Look at this. Holy. I don't know where this takes me. I have no tour guy. Oh, you can even go up here. Even though it looks dangerous, I'm gonna do it. To be honest with y'all, going up these, this wooden stair was the worst idea because them pieces of wood are definitely for not my weight. It's very hard to go up. Oh, I wonder where we at. Is this the part where they have the hole and the through people or not? Maybe in the Explorer. And I have flip-flops on. Holy, my, my legs are shaky. I hope my mom never sees this, but we're at the tallest point. One of the tallest point. And look over here. It is so steep. Below me is literally nothing. And I'm standing on these rocks. All right, let's go back. Hopefully that wooden ladder does not break on me because it was very weak. It's not stable and the pieces of wood are so small. Like it's definitely not for American weight. Holy shit. If somebody told me, would you do it again? I would not. Holy. Just so you guys can see how unstable that wooden thing is. Look, you could, you could literally pull this, right? And look how small and thin is my hand. My hands are small. Look how, yeah. I would not recommend this to anybody, but it was a nice view. <laughs> Definitely not worth it. It's a pretty good investment. You set chairs right here, right in front of the cage. Right in front of the cave where the bass would fly out from there. You set your stores 
and then tell people you have to buy something in order to stay here. It's pretty good, pretty good business idea. Usually, these waters for locals they're 500, which is like 12, 13 cents. I usually pay a thousand. I just give them straight forward because sometimes they be like, oh, two thousand, which is fifty. I'm like fifty cents. But yeah, still not a lot. But still, you, you know, you don't want to pay quadruple of price when something is thirteen cents. But I always just give them a thousand uh, straight ahead, so they don't tell me overprice or anything like that. I expected more, but look at this. All these bats are flying out. They don't even look like bats. I don't know if you guys can see them on camera. But look over there, they're flying. Man, what is this? No, my expectations were, oh, there's a huge hole. I thought this hole huge and at the same time it's just going to be millions coming out of them. But I mean, it is a lot of them, but they're just so tiny and they're so lined up. My expectations were like four times bigger than what I see. Let's head back. All right. I have not gave it a try to this food. Well, let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Oh, two menus. How much? How much? Two dollars? Okay, give me one. We got a mango with fish. So everything here looks different than picture, but it's a lot of food for two dollars. You get a lot of rice, a lot of, uh, I mean, not a lot of fish, but three pieces of fried fish. Plain, let's try it. Plain fried fish. At least there's no bones. Okay, and this mango. They like mango salad here. Let's try. I never tried it. Let's try this. It doesn't really taste like mango. It's like sweet. It's like salty. Because of tomato and tomato juice. Pretty good. I give it like 7.8 out of 10.